This is the Canyon Spectral AL 9.0. It hit a number three place in What Mountain Bikes Trail Bike of the Year 2014. Canyon are a direct sales company, so you order your bike online and they ship it to you in a giant box. Uh, the main advantage of this is that it's amazing value. The frame's all aluminium, but the really important bits are kind of hung off that. So you've got basically uh, a load of top drawer stuff from SRAM. Their Rome 50 wheel set, which is an aluminium rim, tubeless ready, a slightly wider rim than normal, so you can run some really high volume tyres, get plenty of grip out of that. Uh, they're light, they're strong, uh, really well made. We've also got a uh, RockShox Revelation fork up front, which is, uh, which is very nicely controlled. Uh, pretty progressive. Um, it's not quite as stiff as their uh, their Pike, which is the uh, the slightly longer travel variant. Uh, but I mean, on this bike, it works. It works pretty well. The uh, rear shock is a Monarch Plus. It's uh, an air shock, but it's the slightly uh, heavier hitting version uh, with a piggyback, so it'll cope really well with sort of extended descents. You get three position uh, low speed compression adjustment and rebound on that. Again, it's like it's a really well controlled unit. One of the particular highlights is the SRAM X01 drivetrain. Uh, it's the 11 speed single spring ring specific uh, drivetrain. So you get an extra ride uh, cassette at the back. It goes from uh, 10 to 42 teeth. Only obviously one ring up front. Um, the main advantage of this is that you get rid of the left hand shifter. You can just concentrate on what you're doing. It's essentially, it's the slightly more affordable, smaller brother to the XX1 group set. Uh, the main difference being that the cranks are actually alloy armed rather than carbon. So to get all of this kit on a sub £3,000 bike is pretty amazing and it doesn't hurt that the, uh, the Canyon actually handles really well too. Um, it used to be that maybe Canyon, the, the slur that was put on them was that you get a load of kit but then the frame isn't as good. Well they've completely changed that around. I mean it's a really well featured frame, it's stiff, it's light. In fact it is the lightest bike on test here uh, despite having a hydroformed aluminium frame rather than the carbon of some of its rivals. Our only slight problem with the Canyon is the fact that it's one of the shorter bikes on test. That means that you can, if you like that sort of bike, you can sort of flick it and chuck it around. But generally on higher speed sections and on longer climbs, you might want a bit more length in the top tube. That does mean that if you jump up to the large size frame, you'll be fine. But if you're much over six foot, um, there's, there's nothing larger, so you might be a little bit cramped. Hopefully that's something that Canyon will address with a greater range of frame sizes. But in an ideal world, we like to see it with, a, with a, maybe an inch or so uh, extra top tube length just out of the box. So to sum up, uh, the Canyon offers amazing value, but on top of that, it also offers a really solid frame. Uh, and there's a complete package, it's almost there. Uh, our only problem is with the sizing, so if you're a bit taller, you're going to want to watch out. Unfortunately, that is where Canyon's direct buy policy comes in. The fact that you won't be able to try it before you buy it. If you prefer a shorter bike, uh, or you're a shorter gentleman, like myself, uh, then you can't really go wrong with the Canyon.